What is going on guys, I'm Rush XD here, and I'm here to inform you guys on this new Minecraft launcher. A few of you might have known it's out, but for the rest haven't, I'm going to show you guys right now. So, Jeb has been creating a new Minecraft launcher, he even put a page on Reddit uh, telling all about it. Mainly the reason he created the current Java launcher has not satisfied us, that's the launcher you're probably using right now. And the new one looks better, and way more it looks like it was fully customizable to the user's needs and the old looks really bad it usually doesn't provide a good user experience we wanted to change and make a product for better maintenance going forwards besides it lets you change your skin come on who doesn't want that <laughs> and yeah so the good thing it doesn't use java so that goes for a faster load up time and it's working for windows 7 windows 10 windows 8 os x and higher above not for linux so Linux users, you're gonna get a version in the future. Don't worry, you you can still play the current Minecraft. You're not gonna be losing much from this, but of course you're gonna get a brand new experience. So this Reddit page here is for betas. If you want to be a beta tester and tell Jeb what's happening, any bugs, etc. And yeah, I gotta say it. It's so far it's great, and I'm gonna say it looks like this. This is how it looks. This is the current Minecraft. Net page and you have all these features right here you can change your skin by going over here and go into profile etc etc now that takes a lot of time changing your skin and this is a whole page right here of course you guys know minecraft this is the page i don't have to show you anything here and yeah if you want to buy, download the launcher it's on reddit page and i'll leave a link down below if you guys want to check it out so yeah right here is the new minecraft launcher i'm gonna admit this thing looks freaking badass it has this new layout that looks just like the web page and you can change look at this look at this. you see this you can change your skin oh this is brilliant look at that <laughs> I'm just seeing myself rotate and I gotta say I highly recommend you guys download it it doesn't have any bugs so far as I've noticed and of course it's always getting a new update just like the game now I want to show you guys how it works basically here you have the new skin settings launcher and etc now up here you have some help if you ever need some help and this is to change your profile if you have more than one profile you can use it now every time you open up one or more minecrafts it's gonna say that you currently have one minecraft open and are you sure you want to load another one that it ca may cause some issues now if you're using this for videos to use a second account you can continue if you're not well just listen to them it's nothing bad they're always helping you out so i really like it so if you ever want to switch an account just click here add a user and email and password etc etc now for me I'm just gonna keep on my account I'm gonna add one later and let's go to the launch options because this is where everything goes super cool now right here I have the latest version and this one I currently made as you can see here, I even added my own icon now you can enable snapshots right up here of course it's gonna call up that message just since say that snapshots are buggy and you might want to take care of them right and it will download the latest snapshot which is currently 1.11 now I'm not gonna use it I'm gonna go to advanced settings because I want to keep that on it's gonna give you a note you don't have to worry about that and historical versions if you want to check them out go ahead and click that but I'm not gonna mess with them. but I'm not gonna mess with those so right here I have these two accounts this one's gonna be here you can't remove it sorry it's there it's just in case you delete another account and you don't have a profile so this is always gonna now you can add a new ones which one I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna add the latest one I'm gonna add one 1 1.9 so right here unnamed configuration you have this icon which you can click and you can even choose one by clicking browse you can make one and bring it in now I want to get a redstone block for the 1.9 I want to choose my version which is 1.9 often fine and I can even change how much RAM I give to it so I can change up to 4 gigs 8 gigs really depends on your PC I'm not gonna mess with that because I always end up breaking anything you have these options right here game directory etc etc and resolution which I can change to one to a simple 720p because that's like the basic one or you can change it to 1080p really depends on you I'm gonna click save wait but before I save I want to name it so 1.9 optifine there we go so now I can save it and when I go back to news right here it gives me the, this option here with this arrow all you have to do is just click it and it gives you your profile which I like it it's a lot easier to mess with than the old launcher so I can just click this one and I can click play and it will do the same thing you'll load up minecraft and you can play it with a good experience and the, the minecraft experience won't change it's just the launcher that's changed in settings you can change launcher settings keep launcher open while in game open output log when game starts you can see all the logs that's happening and one thing that is missing is 
close launcher when game starts and reopen when game gets closed. I missed that option, I'm gonna be honest, it's not here, I really wish they can implant it back. And privacy settings automatically ask Mojang for fixing crashes. I don't really need that, uh, you guys want to keep it, uh, I, don't, I don't really mind. Allow Mojang to collect anonymous user data. Yeah, not happening. Now going back to the skins, you can change your skin, you can change it to a classic, you can change it back to Steve, you can restart your skin right here, it'll go back to the basic Alex skin, and oh no, I just changed it, but of course if you have a copy, you can just click browse and go to your current one that you have right here. So I got my skin back, it's currently at slim, but I wanted a classic, there we go, it looks beautiful right now, and right here you can rotate it, just double check if everything is in position, I think it is, I'm going to click save, and then I can just go and back and play normally. I don't really like 1.9, so I'm going to go back to 1.8. I'm going to click play. And that is the whole launcher right here. Of course, this right here shows all the news, everything that's happening, all the updates, as always. And yeah, I really think this Minecraft is a better, ex well, Minecraft launcher is a better experience for all newcomers to Minecraft. And should you download it? Yes. Should you wait for an update? If you want to, it won't bug out your current Minecraft. Now, I must inform you that if you have if you use this new launcher and you tend to go back to the old launcher you want to keep a copy of your profiles because it may delete that well it will delete that that's for one thing and that is basically it should you guys download it i highly recommend you and yeah jeb i really want to thank you for this because it is amazing and yeah if you guys have liked this video don't forget to smack that like button down below of course that always supports me as much as you can and yeah i'm the rush xe and i'm out i'll see you guys next time